put this out really, really quick because it almost made me cry. And I know I'm not looking cute, but oh well. So, and I was a little under the weather for a couple of days. I lost taste, smell. So I went to the doctor on a Saturday. It was either Saturday or Sunday because I, I was congested and all that stuff. And I was just sneezing, but it was only up here. It was only up here. And she just gave me some nasal spray. They tested me for, for COVID. It was nothing. And so by the time the following week came, I then it was like here. I was coughing and stuff. So I was like, okay, let me go. Because I went to see Bobby. And I was like, let me go back to the doctor just in case it developed to COVID. And they said that I was probably too soon to test for COVID when I went the week before. And so it was fine. So I drove out to see Bobby and so on and so forth. So I'm feeling a little better. So that's another reason why I probably haven't been getting out much content. I just, it, it did take a lot of my energy. And then I was still trying my best to give all the energy that I could muster up at school, even though I wasn't feeling the greatest, but I will pull through. So I was just exhausted at the end of the day. I wasn't even staying late at school. But my class just left and they got the business, honey. They got the business because they took their first major test and they didn't do so well. And so, and I was like, a lot of you rushed through the test. I said, but I'm going to show you a strategy. I said, that's okay. We're going to learn from this. And going forward, your test scores will be better. I promise you. I said, I had... 96% passing rate for my eighth graders on the state standardized test. I said, if Miss Basil says that this works, you need to believe me. You need to trust me. I said, I'll put it on my mama. It works. <laughs> and they were all quiet and listening. I said, in your seat, if I tell you to move your seat, it's not that you're in trouble. It's because I want you to focus. And sometimes rejection is for your protection, to protect you. And when you choose to move your seat on your own, it shows growth and maturity because it's showing that you care about your learning experience at school. So a little girl came in. She had to finish her test. So I'm about to grade a horse child, see if she's going to be on my naughty list. And she was like, Miss Bass, I have a note for you. I was like, oh, Lord. I said, am I in trouble? All you had to do was ask me because you know I'll be forgetting stuff. And she says, no, it's a note my grandma and I wrote for you. I was like, she mad or something? What did I do? She was like, no, here's a note. So she gave me a note. It was in the envelope and everything. Super, super, super cute. So I just had to share with you because it's so cute. She says, Dear Miss Basil, I apologize for not paying enough attention in class. I know you tried your hardest, especially of what you have been through. I, they must be on my channel or something. I love your ways of teaching and you're an amazing teacher. Thank you for being you. You put a smile on my face every day. P.S. You're my favorite teacher. God bless you. Ah! Child, I had to jump on here doing my little quick, 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 quick lunch period and share that with you. And then there's another student. She was like, Miss Basil, all the kids last year said you were mean. They didn't like you. They, they didn't like you. They was like, and then she was like, are you talking about the same Miss Basil? Because I don't see any of that. I said, see, and what does that teach you? that you can't believe everything someone tells you. Sometimes you just have to experience it for yourself. So am I all those things that they said about me? She's like, no, you're my favorite. I love you. I was like, right, just because I give you work and I expect that work to be done, then I'm mean, whatever. So anyway, let's carry on. And I hope you are having an amazing, amazing day. And your state of mind really is powerful what you think is what you become and even sydney is having a hard time in school it's like you have to learn to love yourself and when you love yourself you don't mind being with yourself it will change your life it will change your world you're not expecting to get happiness and that fulfillment from other people no, mm -mm, you got to get that from yourself. And uh, Sydney, my daughter, I think she's struggling with that. And I'm sorry, but when she calls me and she's crying, I don't have friends. No, but you just did a video with tons of friends. So now today you don't have any. And then tomorrow you have some. Today you don't have. So the back and forth, it, it stresses me out. I, I, I can't. <laughs> 
So I'll be like, Bob, you need to call her. I'm sorry. It, 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 it adds too much stress. I love all my children, but I also love me. And it's stressing me out. I try to talk. And then when you try to talk to someone and they don't want to listen, I know, I know. Okay, so what you calling me for? You, you don't want me telling you nothing. So, and when, if I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, I'll, you can be nice with it and stuff, but it, it be, ooh, be making my nerves bad, child. So anyway, let me upload this video for y'all real quick before my lunch is over. Let's see if I can do it, child. But I have a lot of um, videos that I need to edit. So I have been recording here and there. Oh my gosh, look how I'm holding this phone. I done messed up already holding the phone up and down. I know better. I know better. So sorry, you're going to have the two black things on the side. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you.